I have received reports from multiple teachers in the Durham District School Board that the board is out of portables and now they are converting libraries, gyms, and offices into classrooms. And so now, as part of the chronic underfunding that the Ford government has pushed down onto schools, children are now running out of spaces that they were supposed to be using for their intended purposes because they have to be used as classrooms because we are running out of space to put our children. Some people have been telling me that there is a portable shortage in parts of Ontario or across the entire province, but it should also be noted that portables are extremely expensive, so if the government isn't giving boards the proper funds, they wouldn't be able to pay for them anyway. And so time and time again, we are seeing the negative impacts on our healthcare system, our education system, and other parts of our province when the Ford government decides to cheap out and not spend the money that they need to just to keep the bare minimum things running. The Ford government is enacting a Reagan and Mulroney era economic policy called Starve the Beast. You withhold funds from the public system. You make it so the public system cannot function. You make it so the public system fails. And then when it fails, you say, oh, well, I guess the private sector has to take over. And then you funnel public dollars to the private sector so the private sector can run these systems even worse for a profit. Because time and time again, economic studies have shown that the private system does not run things better than the public system when it comes to things like education and healthcare, things that are goods for all of us, things that we all need to live healthy and productive lives. Ford doesn't care about that. He cares about more money for his billionaire buddies. And in the last few years, we have seen the Ford government multiple times alluding to different ways to privatize education, including e-learning classes that would be run out of credit mills, voucher systems that would end up propping up segregated and religious schools, and removing kids from the school system to go directly into the trades after grade 10, which would immediately remove the funds from that school. Do you have an example of this chronic underfunding in healthcare or education that's happened to you or somebody you know? My DMs are open. Send me a message. I'll look into it. Follow if you want to stay updated on stuff like this.